All right, I'm on the Clifftop Links Tournament. I'm in Monday's practice round in the Ricky Division. I'm a hole number eight. Learning what I can learn today. Learning that on how I wanted to play some of these holes, I'm going to have to make an adjustment. All right, on this hole right here, I'm bringing a... Uh, I'm going to bring a QB. This is a backspin hole. I'm definitely going to be coming at the green with backspin. So I'm going to bring my accurate bra bag, but I'm going to have to I'm going to switch up all of my my short iron, long iron. I'm going to switch to backspin clubs. Now I'm going to use a claw instead of a thorn. <clears throat> distance distance wise pretty close. Accuracy um, the claw's more accurate. Backspin, I'm not really losing any backspin. Ball guide, I'm not really losing any ball guide. Um, but I'm looking at it strictly from an accuracy standpoint. I like the accuracy. Anytime, anytime you're using a short iron to go in for a hole and you're trying to make a shot, your accuracy is a huge factor. So whatever's the most accurate club that'll work for that shot. And the claw is more accurate and it'll work for that shot. So I'm bringing a claw. So I'm bringing a quarterback, Saturn claw. I should not, if I am in my guardian range, I had an epic fail and I'm going to switch my, to my machete because once again, it has a hundred backspin because I don't have a spitfire in this count. I'm going to switch to my Houdini, which is the, what is that? 37. That's a, at 50, it would be two. So add two. So it's 2.2, 2.3 per ring. Hold on one second. So I got a Houdini. And it's about 2.2 per ring. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring all my backspin stuff. So if I end up in any trouble, I can still come at the green with backspin, which is why you're trying to get down into that hole. I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. You can you can play this. I'm going to play it with a Katana because I don't have enough Kingmakers in here. But I have lots of Katanas. The real thing about using a kingmaker is not so much on the drive shot, but on the second shot, the kingmaker will put you more into a club's distance. So I may get down here perfect with my katana or perfect with that quasar, but now all of a sudden you're in long iron range instead of short iron range. What I see a lot of people doing here is getting way too deep in the hole before they start engaging the curl. And because you don't have to get all of your club, I mean, even with a quarterback, you're pulling back a little bit from the red line. So if you're coming out here with a big, big club, you'd be better off to uh, switch to a more accurate club like a quarterback. I'm very curious to see where this ball ends up. because that's exactly where it looked like it was going to end up. So what we want to do here is we want to be about two to three rings off the transitional surface. We're going to put everything we can on it. I want to be up here somewhere and that where the white ring, so we're just trying to find some marks so we can look at. The white ring is touching where the sand is up there. We're going to take the wind out. It's a 2 9 wind. And then I want to do, I'm trying to set this shot up so I can do max curl. By doing max curl, when you're doing these types of shots on drives, if you can do max curl, it's super easy to set it up. But if you're going, okay, I have to use three-quarter curl or half curl, what's three-quarter curl? Because there's no marker. There's no gauge out there for us to be able to judge that by. So if we can set the shot up so that we can use the maximum curl on our club, then it's it's it makes it a lot more repeatable. And that area that I'm in is is the area that I'm really looking for. Well, we'll see here is with the katana what kind of distance it puts us in our club. 
So I'm using a claw and it should be hitting, for me I'm going to do 1.7, 3.0, 3.4 depending on where I'm at and my distance. Now if I was in exactly the same spot and I had a kingmaker, let's see where I am. So I'm with the claw and I'm right at max club. If I would have, if I had a kingmaker, my red line would be here and I could be taking the shot with the claw instead of a Saturn. because I'm not going to have enough room here to adjust out wind. So this is why I'm going to bring it. <clears throat> this is definitely why I'm going to bring a three power ball here. I'm going to bring that kingmaker. I'm going to adjust out. It's 2.0 per ring right around there, 1.9. So it's a little less than two rings. I'm taking out the side wind. And then what I'll do is I'll short shoot it. If you're rubbing up against the nubs, <laughs> if you're rubbing, if you're rubbing up against the nubs there, that's about a ring. So I took out about two of that wind, pretty close. But looking at my notes here, that's why I've got Kingmaker on here because I'm sure the last time I played this hole in a tournament, I'd I'd figured the same thing out that you can get down there with a katana. The problem is is that you, you're gonna be in a spot with the red line. And I would much rather be taking that with my claw, that's why I brought it, than with my Saturn. And I really don't like having a short shoot ever. All right, that was hole number eight of the Clifftop Links Tournament. Thanks for watching.